Hi, my name's Sydney, and I'm going to be reading the Acrobat Cat. Uh, Acrobat Cat. I'm ac I'm the Acrobat, the Acrobat. My shows are sure to please. I practice my gymnastics ac act on tightrope and trapeze. I swing on things like ropes and rings. I some... I some result and skip. You'll be entrance to see me dance. Uh, it's flip. It's fair to say you'll flip. I fly up there with feline flair, and when my show's complete, I end my act with skin interact. My landing on my feet. I'm not at, at all to, afraid to fall and never need a net. The only things that frighten me is dogs or getting wet. Hi, my name is Catherine. I chose this poem because I thought it was funny. My name is Eileen, and I like to complain. Complaining is all that I do. I moan when it's hot. I groan when it's not. I whine when the sky is too blue. I fuss when the food on my plate must be chewed. I whimpered whenever I clean. I frequently fret. If my bath gets me wet, I grimp if the grass is too green. I act like my brain is in terrible pain when people are being polite, but then I, if they're rude, it will ruin my mood. I'll grumble and mumble all night, but through a I daylight and complaining all night, there is one thing that I simply can't see. I don't understand since I'm clearly so grand. Why people complain about me? I'm, I'm Maddie. I'm going to read my poem called Blue. Blue like the ocean, blue like the sky, blue like the sadness in your mind, blue like the waves swaying in the sea, blue like the air rushing through the trees, blue like the blueberries growing on the bushes, blue like the popsicles that you, that you eat, it, eat as a treat, blue, blue like the ice cream that is very neat, blue like the water rushing down your throat, tears coming out of your eyes to make a moat, a blue jay's feathers on the ground, ice cold in the air, and it expresses your emotions. beautiful is the moon glowing and brightly in the night skies bidding herself during the noon so you'll never see if she cries alone she sits in the sky guiding those who need her light warning the hearts of those who cry but always keeping herself locked up tight though surrounded by many stars and salute she would rather be a consequence produced by scars can you hear the silent plea Away from people, away from pain, she hides herself in the plain sight. I've told you once, I'll tell you again the story of the beautiful moon who glows brightest at night. Hi, I'm Shay, and I chose this poem because I just thought it was, I just liked how it came off, I guess. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one 
life from aching or cool one's pain or help one fainting, fainting robin onto its nest again, I shall not live in vain. Hello, I am Tamek, and I'm going to be reading a poem about track because I run track. Uh, his knees were high, elbows bent at 90 degrees, his arms pumped. Close to the sides, back straight, and head up as each foot landed in front of the other. Too much majesty in his last stride, so much depends on instinct. Ingrained legacies and American pastimes, relays where everyone on the wind, on the team wins. Remain a dream, Olympic or gents. Black men chased for sport, heat after heat of long standing savage races that always finishes that always finishes the same way. My guess is Walter Scott ran distances and sprinted whatever his life events required. Years of training and technique are not forgotten even at fifty, even after being tasted tasked out of the right line. Even in peril, the body remembers what in what it has been taught, keeping perfect form during his final dash. That's long. Hi, I'm Allie and I'll be um, reading The Moon by Jackie Hosking. There's a moon on my walk at the top of the hill, and it's perfectly round and it's perfectly still. And it holds back the clouds with its circle of light, and it's perfectly round and it's perfectly bright. It's as full as a hug and as cool as a stair, and it's perfectly round even when it's not there. This is Jack. This is my poem. Hunting Dumpy sat in the wall. Humpy Dumpy had a green fall. All the kids horses, all the kids menst. Kids menst for the hunty. And scramble eggs for breakfast. Hi, my name is Sean, and I'm going to be reading the poem Picnic. George, lend a hand and spread the cloth. The sand is everywhere. Just look at that. You never think it took hours to prepare. What is it, Mom? There's a, there's a ham with sand. There's a spam with sand. There's chicken paste. There's lamb with sand. There's orange bananas. There's lemonade or tea. There's bread with sand. All, sp all spreads with sand, at least... Some come feel, at least some come free. I mean, we've crisp with Sam, sand, I can't, and cake with sand. It's grand with lunch or tea. Crunch it up, enjoy it. At least we're by the sea. Hi, I'm Morgan. Qualifications. Candidate must be proficient at palm puzzling, scroll scribbling, and potent potion pondering, spiffing at spell spotting, good at goblin gobbling, good at goblin gobbling, a champion at chanting, and wonderful with wobsicles. Job description includes, but not limited to, magic marshmallow making on Mondays, tea leaf tra translating on Tuesdays, wand wobbling on Wednesdays, thunder formation on Thursday, frightening frog on Fridays, deadline for applications, yesterday. Hi, I'm Luke, and uh, I'll be reading My Puppy Punch Me in the Eye. My puppy punched me in the eye, my rabbit whacked my ear, my ferret gave a frightful cry and roundhouse kicked my rear, my lizard flipped me upside down, my kitten kicked my head, my hamster slammed me to the ground and nearly left me dead. So my advice, avoid regrets. No matter what you do, don't ever let your family pets take lessons in kung fu.
Skr skr. Hi, I'm Evan. I chose this poem because I felt like it. Um, cloud. What is fluffy? What is white? What what can you see when skies are bright? What what can float? What brings rain? What may be higher than a bird or a plane? Say it out loud, cloud. Please do not feed the animals. Please do not feed the ostriches sandwiches over polar bears or tails. Do not offer the wombats kumquats or the rattlesnakes eggs, fruit cakes. Remember that piranhas are not allowed bananas or partridges sausages. Do never approach a stork with anything on a fork, with things on a fork or the bustard with a plate of custard. No leopard likes anything peppered and meerkats dis disdain Kit Kats. Remember that grapes upset apes and uh, meringues do the same for orangutans. Most importantly, do not feed the cheetah your teacher. Hi, I'm Austin, and I'm going to be reading a poem named Domink. Yes, that's me. Looking, you'll see. My hair is brown. My eyes are red. My arms are hairy. My hands are purple and very bright. My heart loves eggs. I'm Domink. I always say, I'm Domink. My friend is Lamunk. I live in a tree. I hope for more friends, and I dream to be a can of beans. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sal, and I'm going to be re reading this poem, The Boogeyman. In the desolate depths of a Paris place, the boogeyman lurks with a snow on his face. Never dare, never dare to approach his lair, for he's waiting, just waiting to get you. He skulks in the shadows, relentless and wild, in a search for tender, delectable child. With his steely sharp claws and his slavering jaws, always waiting, just waiting to get you. Many have entered his dreary domain, but not one has been heard from again. They no doubt made a feast for the butchering beasts, and he's waiting, just waiting to get you. In the sulfurous, sunless, and sinister place, he'll crumple your bones in his boogie embrace. Never, never go near if you hold your life dear for oh, what he'll do when he gets you. I'm Zingden, and why I chose this poem is because I like pie. Alligator pie, alligator pie. If I don't get some, I think I'm... I think I'm gonna die. Give away the green grass, give away the sky, but don't give away my alligator pie. Alligator stew, alligator stew. If I don't get some, I don't know what I'll do. Give away my furry hat, give away my shoe, but don't give away my alligator stew. Alligator soup, alligator soup. If I don't get some, I think I'm gonna droop. Give away my hockey stiff stick, give, give away my hoop. But don't give away my alligator soup. Hi, I'm Will, and I'm going to be doing the Boneyard Rap. This is the rhythm of the Boneyard Rap. Knuckle bones click and hand bones clap. Figure bones flick and thigh bones slap. When you're doing the rhythm of the Boneyard Rap. It's the Boneyard Rap, and it's a scare. Give your bones up, give your bones a shake up if you dare. Rattle your teeth and waggle your jaw. Let's do the boneyard rap once more. This is the rhythm of the boneyard rap. El elbow bones clink and ba back bones snap. Shoulder bones shink and to toe bones tap. When you're doing the rhythm of the boneyard rap, it's a, the boneyard rap and it's a scare. Give your bones a shake up if you dare. Rattle your teeth and waggle your jaw. Let's do the boneyard rap once more. This is the rhythm of the boneyard rap. Ankle bones sock and arm bones flap. Pelvic bones knock and knee bones zap when you're doing the rhythm of the boneyard rap. Where about it? Mark in my poem is cat rap. 
Lying on the sofa all curled and meek, but in my furry fuzzy head, there's a rapping beat. Gonna rap while I'm napping and looking sweet. Gonna rap while I'm patting on the balls of my feet. Rap on my head, gonna rap on my tail, gonna rap on my, you know where? So where your paws in the air like you just don't care. With nine lines to spare, give me five right there. Well, they say that we cats are killed by curiosity, but this is a smoky mind. No, I've got suavity. When I go to heaven, gonna rap with meh. Yeah, gonna find his hidden paw and clear up that mystery. Nap it up, scratch it up, and the neck is free. Fur it up, purr it up, yep, that's me. The meanest cap rapper you'll ever see. Number one, Shrew Sound Galaxy. I'm, hi, I'm Daniel, and I'm reading, um, my poem is School is Out by Lenora Hetrick. I'm practical, that's why I am, and I know why I like the month of May. I like it lots for that is the month that we celebrate the last our last day of school. Let the others have all the fits and spells about the beauties of the season, but I like May cause school is out and I'm not ashamed to tell my reason. Alright guys, here's Zach with his poem. A bear is white, a bird is blue, a dog is black, a puppy is too. Hi, my name's Sydney, and my name's Catherine. Today we're going to be reading My Doggy Ate My Homework, and we're from Indian Lane Elementary School. My doggy ate my essay. He picked up my mail, he cleaned my dirty closet, and he dusted with his tail. He straightened out my posters, and he swept them on the floor. My parents almost fainted when he fixed my wooden door. I did not try to stop him. He made my windows shine. My room looked like a palace, and my dresser smelled like pine. He fluffed up every pillow. He folded all my clothes. He even cleaned my fish tank with a toothbrush and a hose. I thought it was amazing to see him use a broom. I'm glad he ate my essay on how to clean my room. Thank you. On Monday, I refuse to budge unless the cake is chocolate fudge. On Tuesdays, I will pick up mine with a slice of the coffee spot. Wednesday, Wednesdays, when I have a break, it's beat up with some carrot cake. On Thursdays, if I start to fizzle, I'll perk up with some lemon drizzle. Friday, I insist on fed on cheesecake or banana bread. Saturday, I often lap dish for a nice Victoria sandwich. Hi Gabby, I'm going to be reading Herbert Hilbert Hubert Snod by Denise Rogers. Herbert Hilbert Hubert Snod was known for eating all things odd. The thing that bothered me the most, has he spread toothpaste on his toast? It's springtime fresh, so cool and minty. His smiling eyes were bright and squinty. On baked potatoes, he would slather one half can of shave cream lather. I don't know how his tum could cope as he ingested cubes of soap. At times, his food choice made a scene. At least he kept his innards clean. This would be one person's thoughts about Easter. Easter 2015. Reflecting on this moment's fears, my thoughts go back 2,000 years 
I think of how it happened then. The judge of all was judged by men, condemned because he spoke good news and charged as king, king of the Jews. Yet in his heart he held no wrath. He chose to walk another path. So I, for one, will do my part to emulate his sacred heart, regardless where the times have brought us, to love just as the Savior taught us, to conquer all the hate and lies, and living his example, rise. Tarzana Joe, April 3rd, 2015. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Hatton, and I hope that you have enjoyed your class's Poetry Cafe and had a few little surprises with some guest poems. And I would like to end this event with a poem about books. Books by Helen H. Moore. If you read a few, then you'll know it's true. Books are good for you. Chefs read cookbooks. Pirates hook books. Little kids read lift and look books. We read books of poems and prose. Some of these and some of those. Read some too and you'll agree. Books are good for you and me.